Yeah, it, no. Me and road works in Dundee. Can't tell how much me and road works, can we? Let's see what they're doing. It's just here, nosy. Foot bath closed. The foot bath closed. So I kind of want to be in there, right? Cable or something, they had a rebar. It's cutting stuff back, didn't have a pipeline. That's all I put in, it's a pipeline. Why don't they on the pavement? Whoa. Fucking hell, that's ancient. Fucking oh, Jesus. Oh, it's cracked. <laughs> YouTube. Uh, so I've not got it on you, have I? I've not got it on you. I've got it on that. Oh, <laughs> what is there anyway? Right enough. Uh, I see it there. Is that the old, in the, the old rusty thing? Uh, what well, old's that? No. Uh, brilliant. Um, how much? It's only taxpayers' money, is it? <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Bye. So, there you have it. A million pound project. Which is in the fear of things, uh, uh, game of things. It's not really that much. And like the boy says, it keeps trip it, tripping. So. Like, so all this is a million pounds worth, so it's quite a lot of evil. You think about it. It's like necessary. It keeps bragging. But they've put it on the pavement in there. How did they not turn that up there? It's my question. There must have been something that would have been interfering. But anyway, any of my next things. Is what's going on here? There's one here, a little couple. Oh, uh, so there you go. The electricity. Wow, there's a lot going on there. Jesus, just as long as they boys can. What? What's the blue wire? And what's the red wire? <laughs> That was good. Many guys were alright. Informative, that guy. He's telling you. Oh, him, it was happening. <laughs> Three yobos walking down on the other. Well, I don't think that yobos, just lads, I think. Just hearing a laugh. You had the Scotto going there. <laughs> Alright. Oh, but street.
this is really bad. This is a and the tune at the lights are both lights. So, I would say it's a worthwhile project and a million pound well spent. So that's part of the infrastructure and it obviously needs to be strengthened. Fit in the 1940s, man. Gee! Sang over, too! I used to stay around here when I was a wee lad. Just on the bend here. I'd say... Here. Right, we stayed on the bend. Because Mr. Simpson's Bakers was over there where the steps are, doing the steps and just in there below the judo club. In the judo club, you had to go up the stairs at the back there. Uh, it was like a play, like those stain bolt steps. Brilliant, man. Right, so I reckon. When I was a wee laddie, what that zigzaggy thing is, I used to live here in a close up on the, the right hand side, looking for here on this side. And then the back is was a big air raid shelter. And I used to play in that. And then there was a shop, electrical shop here. And Millie's Variety Shop was on that side. Yellow shop, Millie's Variety Shop. As a wee laddie, I used to knock about around here. I used to love it. Black Scamping used to be there. Huge shop, man. Black Scamping. I loved it around here when I was wee. Glebe. <laughs> Glebeland School, primary school. My both big, big, big brothers were at that. Oh, that. So I came what Dundee is. Grew up in the thick of it. And then as chance would happen, we moved to the best place in Dundee, Mid Craigie. And, and Abdi's going, ah, Mid Craigie, the best place in Dundee. For people, people we hurt. Ah, definitely. A lot of selfless people came from Mid Craigie. A lot of selfish people came from Mid Craigie as well. But I think a lot of good people came. And I'll tell you, it gave you the roots of being, how to be a human being. Living in amongst every sort of person you can think of. That was fun. It led you to be discernible amongst characters. And that's what it gave you, a plethora of characters. <laughs> oh, almost theatre. <laughs> ah, almost theatre, man. You could think... Any character that you've ever thought of, and it would be in Mid Craigie. <laughs> Such a joy to grow up in the heart of the world, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm a Dundonian. I'm glad I'm a Mid Craigie. Anything else hasn't really had a life. <laughs> Uh, you probably have had a life, but as wide and varied in the diversity of what in Mid Craigie. That's how I can that this racist care this nonsense. There was no racism in Scotland. Never was until these people started saying it, speaking about it. Because everybody was an individual in Scotland. We were all fighting against Westminster. No matter your colour, your skin, or your creed, or nothing, or religion, or anything. We were on the same slop bucket. Just trying to hate life. You remember the Maggie years and that. The Tories took everything for them. Punishing for the rest of Britain. And then, what happened? 
Tony Warlord Blair. Another idiot. And so, what party has got the integrity for the people? Not one of them. Right? So what I suggest when election comes round, or even the by-elections, and see when they come round, see that guy that lives in your street and says, oh, this should be this, and he's got other numbers and the facts and that. That boy, you think, oh, he goes on and on and on. I'll tell you what, elect him, and you'll see the difference. You'll see the difference. You'll see life come back. I guarantee you that. And he's no worried about pruning envelopes or getting loads of mail or it's not it's no power trip for him. It's no ego trip for him. Or her or whatever, right? It's no. What it is is he's seeing what the future lies and what lies ahead for them if we didn't act. And really that is that is beyond what I could comprehend, like so please come the election. Every one of these parties, dinner vote for them. Dinner. Abstain. Show your disdainment at them, because they show disdain at us. Oh, I pitch in. On you go. He's carrying a stick there for his nest. Wanna get in his way. So anyway, take it from me. Get rid of them. Ah, these paid politicians. That's what they are. Get that guy what doesn't want any money. He just wants to do the best for his community. Because he wants to see his grandkids to grow up into a world that's got a future. Yeah. No like as of now. Right. Oh, look at that one here. Oh. It just keeps popping up, does it? It does. So anyway, we're going to finish there. So please like, share and subscribe. And remember, if you don't believe me, get on to your politician. Try and get something done. Or what are they? They're hiding. I keep asking to meet them. They're never there. Like, share and subscribe.